Welcome back. Today we are turning my backyard into an Italian garden, or at least we're gonna try. We'll see how it comes out. I'm doing this on a very tight budget, so we're gonna have lots of DIYs. I'm so excited to share this with you guys. So the first stop that I made was this junkyard. We know somebody who just so happens to kind of have like a junkyard, and I went searching through everything there, and I actually found um, a bunch of great stuff for the yard so let's go see what I got I just got back home from the junkyard and I'm gonna show you guys the treasures I found first thing I got is this little planter here we have the top to a bird bath um, I really wanted a fountain I couldn't find any fountains there and online they're like 400 plus dollars so we're not doing that um, so I'm going to kind of make a fountain in a sense. Um, so I got this topper. Then I got these two beautiful bird bath um, bases. They are exactly the same. They have a really cute little floral um, pattern on it here. And again, I like how like old they look. First thing I got is stuck in this cement um, base, which is fine. It's not a big deal if I leave it like that. I probably could take it out of the cement base somehow just like break it but i feel like that's a lot of work and i don't really need it to come out um so it's this like lawn ornament i'm just gonna call it because i don't know what it's called but once i take all of this stuff off of it i think with like some pretty fairy lights and some greens wrapped around it it'll be really beautiful the next thing i got is um a little rough but again like the the patina of it is just so beautiful like i am just so in love with it so here's our backyard this is what we're working with we're just doing like the patio area over um not anything else in our yard um, so I'm just clearing everything off. We're getting rid of that picnic table. It was here when we moved in I just painted it, but it is rotted now. So that's gonna go um, The furniture that we have I got at the end of last summer. So that's pretty new So we're gonna keep that but obviously the patio looks really rough So I'm just taking our power washer and washing it off Which is like the most satisfying thing ever because you can see all of the dirt and grime go off And then your patio just looks so beautiful once it's done It's time to get into our first DIY. As I mentioned before, I really wanted a fountain, but they were so expensive. So we're gonna kind of create our own fountain. And I also have some old planters that just need some sprucing up. So I got this spray paint, which is in the shade Pebble. And then I also got this stone coarse texture um, spray paint in the color Charcoal Sand. It is the coolest thing ever. It just leaves like a grainy effect. Um, so first I just spray painted these planters um, the like beige color because I just felt like it looks a little bit more stone-like and that's just the vibe that we're going for. Then I took the charcoal sand um, stone spray paint and as you guys can see there's going to be a close-up soon. You can really see that it completely turns it into looking like real stone. Um, so this is a planter top I got, which we are going to use to create a fountain, but I wanted it to look a little bit more realistic and not so plasticky. So for this, I just took the stone spray paint and I spray painted the whole outside of it. It is so cool. I'm still kind of mind blown by this. I think it's just like the coolest product I've ever seen. Um, so I'm very excited about it and I kind of want to do some more things with it. Um, I did about two to three coats on each. It just depended on um, how much I really wanted. So while that's drying, I found, well actually Connor found this wheelbarrow at a job that he was doing. He was doing um, a job of like tearing down an old barn and the woman said, whatever's there, you can keep if you want. He found that wheelbarrow and I was like, yes, please keep it. So I just got some flowers and I got some of these um, pots from Michael's 
and I'm just going to plant these gorgeous flowers that I got and we're gonna put it in the wheelbarrow I love the way the wheelbarrow looks um, it actually had handles on it but Connor didn't know that I would want it and he took his big um, excavator or whatever the heck those things are called and he kind of crushed it and then he saw it and was like maybe M would want this and so I kept it um, I definitely think I could probably get some handles for it but for now it's fine without them So I'm just going to arrange these flowers in the wheelbarrow and I think it is such a gorgeous simple look. I love how it looks and I think doing a backyard that's kind of like an Italian theme, you can have things look a little bit more natural and everything doesn't need to be so clean and crisp like I feel like the rest of our house is. So it's kind of refreshing to not have to worry about everything being perfect. I'm so excited for summer to come. That way all of these flowers can bloom really big and tall and so beautiful because right now they are really pretty but they're obviously not quite as big as I would want them to be. So I'm just taking the blower and just blowing off any extra stuff we have. Now I'm taking some string lights and adding these to our pergola. So I went to Lowe's, I got a new picnic table and I sanded it down really quickly and then I just added on some stain. Now it's time to do a DIY fountain. So this is just like an easy way and an expensive way that I could think to make one. So I, like I said before, I got this planter, um, then you guys saw me put the stone spray paint on it. So I have these two bases. I decided to go with this one because I thought the coloring was a little bit more similar to this planter. So very simple. We are basically just going to take some glue and glue it on. Make sure you use the right type of glue like JB Weld. Um, I could obviously cut this little section off here and then it would lay flat um, basically the bottom bird bath groove would fit into the top and it would be seamless but i just don't want to cut it because i'm nervous that i'll never get it sealed off perfectly and then water will drip out and it'll just be a problem so we're just going to glue it um and what i'm going to do to kind of hide this area is just put some greenery um, so yeah, you guys can definitely find a bird bath topper or a planter that would fit better, but I did this video in like three days, so I didn't really have the time to find anything different, and I actually don't mind how the end result came out. Um, but yeah, so this is the other bird bath topper I have, and I was thinking I could try to do the fountain with this, but the thing is that this is super shallow, so it wouldn't quite give the effect I wanted. I don't want to get it in my eyes. Oh, okay. <laughs> Here's the base. We're gonna see if this works. It says it drives in five minutes, so I guess we'll see in five minutes. All right, so here's how we're gonna turn it into a fountain. I found this on Amazon, and basically, it's like this solar pump. So we're going to take this off and put it in the sun so it can start to work. And it's like a solar... <gasps> what the heck? Oh my gosh. That just scared me so badly. <laughs> we're going to put this in the sun though. And why is it doing that? I didn't think it would make noise. Oh my gosh. It's terrifying. I'm just, I'm just going to put it in the water and see if that does anything. But I mean, like, if it's gonna make this loud noise the whole time, that's obviously not what we want. That's not peace. Oh! Oh, okay. There we go. I think it just needed sunlight to charge <laughs> you guys. I was so confused. All right, we're good. I mean, 
it's not working right now, but I think it just needs the sunlight. <gasps> Yay! Oh, 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 it's getting me. How cool! This is amazing! Wow! Look at that! That's <laughs> so cool! Seems like it's getting pretty tacky, which is great. So, I have these like fake flowers, which I think, like I said, I can kind of just wrap around the bottom. And again, this isn't ideal, so that way it just like hangs around it. And I don't think it's horrible. Again, not ideal but it's not a big deal to me. Hopefully you guys can hear me. I'm gonna turn this wall that I have right here. It's just like really long and plain. It just looks too modern. So I saw this idea on a blog. I'm gonna put the blog's website here because it was genius. And basically you just get these vines from Amazon and you make it look like there's vines growing up your wall. She did it inside of her house. These are the vines that I got. Oh my gosh, it smells really bad. And they're basically just gonna crawl up the wall. Um, they looked really beautiful in her house. I don't know if it's gonna look, look like cheap and tacky and stupid or if it's gonna look beautiful, but I'm willing to take the chance because I don't think it should take me too long. Um, basically, I just got these little tacks from Amazon as well. Um, let me show you guys what they look like. They just look like this. And I'm just gonna tack these to the wall. She kind of went like more in depth and made hers like a little bit um, more work. But I think she probably will have a better outcome. But I'm just taking a shortcut for mine because I don't feel like I have all that time to do that. So if you have the time, maybe follow hers. If you don't, just tack these to the wall and hope for the best like me here's what the vines look like i think they look pretty good um it's 78 inches per vine and it comes with 24 strands so i'll leave the link to this one um down below so let's just start tacking these up to the wall and see what happens The wall is complete. I really like how it turned out. The next thing I'm gonna work on right now is a projector screen. And I'm really excited about this. I thought it would be really fun in our backyard to put um, a projector up. That way um, we could sit by like the fire pit, put a movie on, and I just thought it'd be really cozy and fun. Um, so I found this little projector. It is honestly the cutest thing ever. Look how adorable. I got it for $48, um, I can link it for you guys. So as far as the screen goes, you can obviously purchase a screen online, um, or you could make one. So I'm making one. I have a bunch of these old blackout curtain panels um, that we don't use, and I just got this wooden dowel from Lowe's for like two bucks. Um, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm watching Sweet Home Alabama <laughs> as I do this, but um, basically I'm just going to take some um, no hem tape and I'm just gonna make like a little pocket back here. Um, that way we can string the um, rod through and then I just wanted to add this in here. If you get a curtain that's a little bit more square or it's going long ways, then you won't have to add this pocket at the top for the dowel to go through. You can just obviously use it how you would normally a curtain. But where our pocket is for the curtain rod, it's going down the side. You guys can see it right here to the left. So it wouldn't work because then the video screen would be too long um, going up and down rather than side to side if that makes any sense hopefully it does and i'm going to put two hooks outside and the rod will be able to sit in them that way we don't have to keep the screen up all the time and whenever we do want to put the screen up it's just really easy to get in there so i got these little hooks um from hobby lobby and they fit perfectly 
right here so everything just like goes in really easily also got these ones too because they're not going to be super noticeable on the wall Now you guys get to watch me struggle bringing this piece of furniture outside by myself. But um, so I got this piece of furniture on Facebook Marketplace not too long ago. Um, the woman actually had it outside just as like a little um, planting kind of area, like how I am have it set up right now. She had like her tools and stuff on it. Um, but we had brought it inside of our house to just use as like a little bar area, but I think it looks really beautiful outside. So I decided to bring it out and just let it stay out here because I think it looks so pretty. So I just put some potting tools and just some outdoorsy things on this table to make it look beautiful. Now it's time for my favorite part of the video, the reveal. So here is what the after looks like. I am so happy with how this area came out. I feel like I just really wanted our backyard to feel peaceful and relaxing and a little bit more mature and I feel like it's exactly that. And I cannot wait to just go outside and sit and enjoy and hear our beautiful fountain going i'm really pleased with how it came out one thing i think i'm gonna add is right there that little spot on the wall i think i'm gonna put some more vines um that way it just continues but i'm so pleased with how it came out and i really like how the fountain turned out too Our furniture set we got on Amazon last summer, so if it's still available, I can try to link it for you guys. I love how this flower area came out. I think it is so beautiful. I can't wait for you guys to see what it looks like in a few clips at night because it looks so pretty. But I love this little area over here. We have lots of things that we found in random places or that the old owners of the house left us. Um, so it's just a really special area. Um, this is that little bird house that we got. And then here is the other bird bath. We already have lots more little animals and bees coming over to this area. So I think it's definitely helping to attract the wildlife. So I've never actually been to Italy, but whenever I look at pictures or whenever I think about Italy, I just always think of those beautiful gardens that they have and everything is just so bright in color and just looks so relaxing and peaceful. And it would definitely be a dream of mine to go. My grandparents on my mom's side are both full Italian. So I'm actually half Italian, half German. Here are my grandparents. We have this adorable bottle of wine um, that they had. So I thought it was only appropriate to open this bottle today. Thank you. 
I encourage you guys to create a space that makes you feel really good and inspires you. Having a space that you can go to where you just feel inspired and instantly you feel uplifted and happy is so important and it really does help to boost your mood. So now it's nighttime and I'm lighting all of the candles and turning all of the lights on outside. It honestly feels so magical in our backyard and it is so peaceful. I'm just so happy with how it came out and we did it on such a good budget. I think in total, I probably only spent like maybe a couple hundred dollars. So I'm really pleased with that. Now it's time to put up the projector for a movie. So I thought it was only appropriate to watch Roman Holiday with Audrey Hepburn. If you guys haven't seen this movie, you should definitely watch it. I think you would love it. It's one of those movies that just makes you feel so good inside and it's just so calming and relaxing to watch it. But I hope you guys enjoyed this backyard makeover. I hope it maybe inspired you guys to redo your own backyard. And you never have to do anything on a huge budget. You can always do DIYs and make things beautiful in your own way. So I hope it inspired you guys. And I hope you guys are staying safe and healthy. And I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.